What is going on everybody? If you have diabetic neuropathy, any kind of neuropathy, any kind of circulation issues with your feet, come back. This one may be for you. This is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Before we get into this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. There's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed, and we'd sure like to hit that 2,000 mark this year. So come on, hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when Midtown Outdoors posts another video. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. So, like I said in the beginning, if you have, like me, I'm diabetic, so I have diabetic neuropathy. A um, couple of little things going on with it, but mainly poor circulation in the feet. So I have two things that happen. One, my feet stay cold all the time. I don't care how hot it is outside, my feet stay cold. With that said, that means the circulation is not that great in my feet. And you're probably thinking... Well, I don't have anything to do with me. Well, there may be some people out there that want to get back outdoors, but can't because they have the same issue I do. Um, several months back, I did a hike with um, Chloe and Jenna. And it's kind of funny, even though I've got to build myself back up as far as hiking was. After that day of hiking with them, um... My feet actually felt really good during the hiking stuff. I had to stop and rest for a little bit because I wasn't used to doing it. I hadn't been doing it in a while. Rear end been sitting in a, you know, sitting down too much. But the poor circulation in my feet on top of neuropathy and everything else. And if you're wondering what neuropathy is like, I have... <laughs> You, you don't know if you're standing completely flat, if your foot's bent. I mean, my dad, I saw him at his worst. I saw him one time standing somewhere and his foot was jammed up like this. He couldn't tell because he couldn't feel his feet. And that was neuropathy in his feet. Mine's due to diabetes, which I can control the diabetes part, but the neuropathy part I cannot. And it's just part of the diabetes. I actually have neuropathy in this finger. And if you think, well, that's that's not too bad. Well, you gotta try to pick stuff up sometimes. It's not, you know, working 100%, especially if it's light little stuff you're trying to pick up off the floor. Forget it. I have to go to this hand to do it. Um, but the feet thing, what, what would happen is with a traditional sock, if I'm wearing a traditional sock, that sock and my feet swell Without the, throughout the day so therefore it's cutting more into the circulation getting more circulation feet start looking funky and mine were and then I decided it's time to research this a little bit so I have done that and I've compiled two brands that I'm using right now matter of fact I'm wearing a pair of them now and they feel like to me my feet are warm because they're circulating good that elastic around the ankle around the foot is not cutting off the circulation and that's on these now, the first brand is an ortho sleeve this is it right here I'll leave links to all this down below I wear an extra large because I wear a size 13 these go from 12 I think it is um, to a 15 it doesn't say on their card but I think that's what it was um, the, I'll leave a link to these and these and then I'm gonna go over the cons between the two different pair brands these are by ortho sleeve it's wellness care socks um, and the main thing is is they don't cut off circulation up here they're real stretchy up here, but now when you get into the foot part, the toe is really soft. And guys, you can testify when you have those threads that eat into your toe on the foot of the sock, socks. 
Um, and for some reason, there's there is a left and a right. I'm hoping you can see that. There you go. There's a left and there's a right to each one of the socks. Um, <laughs> and when I get ready in the morning and it's dark in the house, I have to really pay attention to <laughs> what's what I'm putting on. Um, but after a day of wearing them, I was already sold because my socks, when I took my shoes off, didn't look like my legs were this big around where my socks had been. Um, so really, really loving that. Um, so where they put their support in the sock is right here in the middle uh, to promote circulation a little bit and give support for your foot. And then right here where you would get tingliness and numbness in the foot because of poor, you know, toes are being cut off. You don't have that problem either because it's got plenty of room there. Now, the other brand is Doctor's Choice. That's this brand right here. Now, I'll get into some other things about these, but here's the Doctor's Choice sock. It has same kind of um, material and everything. So the other brand is Doctor's Choice. They work kind of the same way, same materials and everything, except for this is not trying to uh, cut your foot off. And they give support where the support is needed. And then they have the guaranteed soft toe, which I really love that. But Doctor's Choice went another step and that they caught my eye with this. Now, this is this particular one's non-binding leg, full functioning for added protection and comfort, or full cushion, sorry, smooth comfort toe, reinforced heel and toe. Now, when I read this to you, wool blend thermal cruise sock, boot socks, boot socks, guys. They have the boot socks. Watch this. This is super, super loose fitting. Doesn't, um, but it still stays gathered. I had these on for a couple hours walking around the house in shoes. And guess what? Took them off. There's no ring. I was really, really impressed with these and how comfortable they are. With them being a wool blend, they're going to be a little bit warmer too in the wintertime. So I'm going to be buying another pair or two of those for this winter for camping. Now, let me tell you the pros and cons. The cons with these, you have to hand wash them every time and line dry them, which with all of my real wool swaps, that's how I do those is I hand wash them and hang them dry in the laundry room and usually just hang it over the dryer on a clothes hanger or on a hanger that has one of those, has those, uh, uh, what I call a pan hanger where they hang like this and they dry and usually they're dry within a day at the most. But that's my one con with these is hand wash and hand dry. These on the other hand say on the, the thing here, machine wash, no um, bleach, tumble dry. Love it. Tumble dry. And that is the doctor's choice sock. That's on both of their socks. Had I read that on these, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. I probably wouldn't have tried these. But as soon as I saw that on these, I got more. I got more. I got these. Um, I've got two pair of these for right now. That's the doctor's choice. I will be getting more of these. Really impressed with them. And most of the time during the week, I wear a low cut sock. I don't like socks above my ankle or well around my ankles and that's it. I don't like it any further. You know, when it gets cold and the knees will be coming out. But I'm really impressed with the uh, both socks actually. Um, the only complaint I have is you have to hand wash and line dry. These you can wash in the washer and dry them in the dryer. I may end up hanging these up anyway, but I, it's just something I've always done with my boot socks and hiking socks. 
just always did so I'm, i was always used to doing that but anyways guys that's it for this one uh i hope this helps somebody out there that may be starting on the journey of you know diabetes or neuropathy or anything like that and still want to get out and still want to do well guess what guys they make a sock that will help us as far as not beating our legs and feet up you know as far as the the cutting off circulation and stuff with regular socks and that does happen trust me it's been happening for the last couple of years and until i finally broke down and figured it out well that's what i did appreciate you watching guys see you on the next one don't forget to hit that like subscribe and share button and long weekend coming up have a good one